Hey Pixels! Welcome back to part 2 in this two-part tutorial series. In this video, I'll show you how to easily code the article cards that we designed in Adobe XD. If you haven't already, be sure to watch part 1 of this tutorial. Now if you did watch part 1, let's not waste any more time and jump into the tutorial. Before we jump into coding, we can use design specs to refer to when we code the design. In Adobe XD, we can switch to share mode. Under view settings, let's select development and make sure export for web is selected. Now we can click the create link button and follow the link to our design specs. Our design specs will show all the properties we need to refer to as we code our article cards, like layout, alignment, padding, width, height, color, and more. Now that we have our design specs, we can jump into coding. As always, we'll first code the HTML for our article cards to establish the structure or skeleton of our cards, then we'll style our cards with CSS. First, we'll create a div with the class name site container. This container will act as the global container that will contain all the main content for the page. Within the site container, we'll create another div and give it the class name article container, which will exclusively contain the article cards. We'll code the first article card. We'll use the article tag and give it the class name article card. Within the article card, we'll grab the figure tag and give it the class name article image. Within the figure, we'll add an image. Remember to add alt text for each image. Now, we'll add the content related to our article. First, we'll create a div with the class name article content. Within this div, we'll add an anchor link with the class name card category and we'll add the category name for the article. Below the category, we'll add the title for our first article card and then excerpt. That's the basic structure of a single article card. Now, I'm just going to duplicate the entire block of code for the article container three more times and update the images and title for each article. Now that we have all four cards, we can style them and make them look amazing using CSS. The font used for the cards is PT Sans, and you can use this font for free via Google Fonts. As you can see, I imported the font into my CSS file. 
First, we'll add styles to the body of our web page. We'll declare the font family, font size, line height, and background color. This is totally optional, but I'm also going to add font smoothing since it makes the look of the text look so similar to the actual design in Adobe XD. Next, I'm going to style the site container by aligning it to the center and giving it a margin on the top and bottom of 2rem. To set the max width of the container, I'm also going to use the calc function to write a calculation that essentially says the max width is 100% of the site container minus 80 pixels. Moving on to the article container, we're going to use the fabulous CSS grid. Think of this as the grid that we used when we were designing our cards in Adobe XD in part one of this tutorial. We'll use the grid template column property and auto repeat the minimum size of our grid columns to 265 pixels and maximum size of our grid columns to one fraction. Note that one fraction is 100% of the available space in each column. Finally, we can add a gap to our grid, which is basically the grid gutter that we established in part one of this tutorial. The article images are way too big, so we're going to style it so that it fits nicely within the article container. Now that we styled the article container and article images, let's style the individual article card. First, we'll color the background of the card white and add a 20 pixel border radius. We're also going to add a 0.3 second transition so that we get that smooth drop shadow hover effect that we prototyped for our article cards in Adobe XD. Next, we'll apply the hover effects to the article cards using the hover pseudo class and using the box shadow property. I also want the cursor to turn into a pointer to further indicate to the user that the card is clickable. Now we can style the article content which includes the category, title, and excerpt.
We've styled the article cards mobile first and they look great. All we need to do now is add media queries to the site container for tablet and then desktop screens. I'm using CSS Grid to set the height of the article card image to 220 pixels and the content to one fraction or 100% of the available space. So that's how you code these minimal article cards using HTML and CSS. We also made them responsive so they adapt to different device screen sizes. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to ExcelPixel for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.